What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. This is definitely an awesome fishing video. But we had some technical malfunctions with the camera, of course. I haven't had any problems in months and I go out on one of the best fishing days of my life. We literally catch everything in my intro video and the video where I showed y'all what we used. Messed up. I don't know, it was staticky. So anyhow, this is what you call a Johnny jig. It's a slow pitch jig and you're gonna learn how to use it in this video. I just wanted to show it to you so you get to understand up close and personal. This is a Talica 16 on a Mags custom rod. So it's full of braid, 60 pound braid, and then we put a top shot of 60 pound mono. That allows it to stretch. The braid doesn't stretch. So you put about 50 foot of mono on, that way when you're fighting these big fish, you have a little bit of stretch. This is my favorite rod, an uh, old salty. And when you watch Kelly's Vermilion Snapper video, you're gonna see this a lot. And you will see it in the background of the video you're about to see. We're in Jacksonville, straight out of Mayport Inlet, 60 miles in 200 foot of water. And we're slow pitch jigging and I got one on. Let's go. I got something big. You do. <laughs> Kelly had to take a pee break. So I figured I'd drop one of the old Johnny jigs. For those of y'all that watch deer meat for dinner, this is the rod and reel that he caught that massive goliath on. So these Johnny Jig guys and my buddy Adam, they swear by these slow pitch jigs. They think it's the best thing in the world and I just dropped one down. On fish. It is a pompano. No. Hey Jay. Oh yeah. yeah. Biggest, what is that, big barracuda? Something just chasing That's the remora right there. Oh, he's gonna eat Oh, him. it's a big cuda. <laughs> now we, we got, got shark bait. <laughs> now we got good bait. Woo! How about that? Good shark job. bait, ooh aha. Oh, it's All nice. Right. That is a big one. Yeah, it is. We gotta do a little. You spring. know what we like barracuda for, right? Eat. Sandwiches. No, your dog food. Oh yeah, oh, that too. Hold on, I gotta do a little screen cleaning. This is an extreme wall paper. You just literally drop it down to the bottom and then just start jigging it. You can reel it fast, reel it slow, let it fall back down and that's it. God. Ooh, oh, that's a go. real one, cuz. He's going back to the bottom like a no, grouper. You're good, you're good, you're good. There you go. Oh god, I'm on two. Gosh. Am I? Oh, this is a big bait. <laughs> there we go. Using my Mags custom rod. Shout out Mags. Whoa. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who wants to fight this? You do. That looks like so much fun. I would hate to take that fun away from you. <laughs> Whenever you're fighting a big fish, nice big pulls up and reel down. Start the reeling process before you start going down though. Because every time you let that fish have a little bit, he's going to take a lot. Ooh, that rod bend. The cool thing about these slow pitch jigs, you don't even have to catch bait. When we pulled up to where Kelly was going to do her video, before they were even ready to fish, I threw this jig down and caught a pretty big jack. Everywhere we go, people look at these mags rods and they're like, they're pretty flimsy. These rods are flimsy, but they are sure enough strong. That flimsiness will save your back in a battle. Uh, what do you think it is, Joey? Well, I'm not sure. It could be a, probably a jack, could be an African pompano, could be a gigantic uh, rainbow runner. That'd be the it's biggest rainbow jack. runner ever. <laughs> Man, one fish and I'm gonna be done fishing. <laughs> oh no, you're not. You got more work to do. I'm just getting started. I ain't letting you off that easy. He's close. Coming. I think it's a grouper. I hope so. That'd be cool if it was. It's a giant rainbow runner. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's as big as our yellowtail. Oh my god. Boy, he rips some you water guys, on. look at the size of that rainbow runner. This is as big as the yellowtails we were catching in Mexico. Oh, you, uh oh, 
he might he may rock me up while we we're talking. I'm gonna go ahead and bleed this fish because they are really good to eat. Yes, they are. The quicker you get that blood out of them, the better they'll taste. Alrighty, as we were playing around with that rainbow runner, you saw my rod holder clicking in the background there. Apparently something made it and ran into a hole. Wow, we were dealing with that, but I got it out and now it's coming up nice and slow, just kind of floating up. So I'm kind of thinking it's a grouper here. This is a gigantic bait I had. Huge piece of cut bait. And it's not a shark, because it would be ripping line right and fighting like crazy. So I'm thinking this is a big grouper. Look at that though, look at that big old Johnny jig. This is the easiest style of fishing you could ever do. I like his rod holding technique over there. Yeah, he did that same thing in my video. <laughs> yep, easy, easy peasy. I'm what do I got? Oh my gosh, it's a bottom fish. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful fish you have. That's really oh, pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Beeliner ate my bait. Back you how'd you catch such a small fish and then a piece of coral? I don't want to touch this. Oh god! God, I gotta get off the boat before it starts laying eggs or something. That coral sometimes, guys, can sting you so bad. I'm a big scared right now. That's like my number one fear. So you just get a giant thing of fire coral. He said he was going after a big fish, you guys, and he come up with a beetle. I mean it was it was floating up like it was a grouper. You can't argue that. So with these jigs. It, it, there's no special technique. Big sweeps, let it fall. Bring it up in the water column about 20 foot, repeat. Then let it fall all the way back to the bottom is how I like to do it. Oh, it felt like I just got hit on the way down. God, bless America! <laughs> Have fun yet? You're doing a really good job of making it look hard. <laughs> no, he's taking all that line I just got back. Oh, I hate when that happens. Dude, we might have a duo of size XXXL, Jax. Uh, oh my god. Look at that, that rod, man. How's that oh lower back? Oh my god. <laughs> it's not what I signed up for. I didn't sign up for this either, Gabe. But you say you want to catch Jax, so here we are, catching <laughs> Jax. Uh. Oh my god. Uh. Should we give him a commercial break? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see after this commercial break. All right, Good. we got color. Joey's oh, first up the deck. Oh. That is a horse. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the side oh of that my thing. Goodness. Good that's god. A, that's an 80 pounder, dude. Oh my god. 100 pounder. You guys, this is a mega giant. That's the biggest amberjack I've ever seen get caught. Oh my goodness. Good God. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Jesus. Golly. Over the rail and in the pail. In the pail, boy. Oh God, I gotta put some line out. Oh God. Watch out, Gabe. I can't. I'm getting dope. <laughs> Good God, look at the size of that thing. Wow, that's a porker. Somebody call 911. <laughs> I'm getting dumped still. Oh my that's the biggest jack I've ever seen caught. Yeah. That is oh! <laughs> I gotta let line out just to get it to where it needs to be. Oh. He bites, they must bite hard, ow. <laughs> so, we're getting ready to go deer hunting in Alabama, finally. Y'all have heard me talking about a deer hunting show forever, and we're finally getting ready to go. And I made the fatal mistake of telling Joey, well, some amberjack would be nice to make some smoked fish dip. Bro, we can feed all Alabama with that one. Yes, you could. Roll Tide, baby. <laughs> Roll Tide. I just got that. There you go. <laughs> hey, that is a straight up 75, 80 pound. Good oh, God. And I got a keeper beeliner out of it too. Holy How about that? Oh, that's okay. I'll take it. 
All right, you guys, mine just pulled off, which is perfectly fine because <laughs> we, we got, got a, enough jack. We got a gargantuan right here in the back. That fish, the reason he probably pulled off is I put so much heat on him, I actually tore a hole in his mouth. Let's see what this jig looks like. Well, the, the hook's held up. Sure did, Seaworks hooks. Good stuff right there. That's pretty good. Good God, son. Yeah. Oh. Don't fall in. <laughs> That's what you call a dinosaur jack. We don't need any more than that. I think we're good. Can you please tell the next one not to eat? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. That's a Mondo. All right, you guys, this fish is so big, we got to gut him. That way we can fill his body cavity up with ice. But we wanted to see what was in this gargantuan thing inside his belly. And there's something big in there, I can tell you. So this is his gut cavity. Oh my gosh. This is a file fish. That is sick. Unicorn file, he's a sand tile. That's insane. Sand tile <laughs> fish. Oh my god. There's still something in here big. Squirrel fish, this feels like. No, that's something. Look at the teeth on whatever it is. That's a mango. That's a freaking mango. What? That's like a four pound mango right there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Freaking monster. There's something that feels like a snail. <coughs> it's a vertebrae. This is the best part though. Look at the live worms. Parasites. All right, you guys, we just got anchored up. We put that rainbow runner and that big AJ on ice. This morning we stopped and caught some of these small cigar minnows about 20 miles offshore. We're gonna drop it to the bottom. I'm fishing with an ugly stick. I didn't even know they made them this big. This is Joey's personal rod, Robert's reel. I forgot all my good setups at the house, so we're gonna see. Leave a comment below if you've ever used an ugly stick. How deep are we? Almost 200 feet. Almost 200 foot to the bottom. Uh oh. There he is. Got him. Real baby, real. This fish don't want nothing of the power of the ugly stick. <laughs> They fear the ugly thing. Yeah. Feels like a little jack or something. I swear, these things chase me all the way offshore. Yeah. Nope. You guys, this is a Jacksonville favorite right here. Let me tell you. Pink picker, girl. You catch you a pinky and everybody gets excited. They are relatively good to eat, but they smell like iodine so bad. You guys in Australia, leave a comment below and tell me what fish y'all catch that looks like this. I see it on Instagram all the time, but I don't know what it's called. Um, they, <laughs> I was trying to drop down to a mutton and the current's picked up and we don't have enough weight. And I was reeling it back in and just got wrecked by something. I don't know what it is, but it's pulling really hard. <laughs> All right, I got top shot coming. Whatever it is, it's got his head down and digging. Anytime you're anchored up and there's current, big fish can fight a lot harder. <laughs> Fun. 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 <laughs> Pull him in. I can't, I got too long of a leader. Oh my God, I didn't even realize how long it was. <laughs> 
I told you not to put any amberjacks on my line. Hey, sorry. But a lot of people in this world would be crazy happy to catch him. I think we have enough jack for a while. What didn't you say? Yeah, hold on. Do you want to keep him? Yeah. No. You guys look at that. Big amberjack. I don't know if you can tell with the glare of the sun, but that's why they call him an amberjack. And they hurt your arms really bad. What's all the heavy breathing about? I don't know, I'll let you know here in about two, three minutes. Now explain to the camera why you just switched positions. Cause I know for a fact that he's off the bottom right now. And uh, instead of making myself very tired, I'm just kind of taking it easy. See like that? Right there, the, if the fish wants a dog, I'll let him dog. This guy decided he wants to wake the heck out of us. Um, and I'm tired too. Second one. So what he was saying guys, is he did that initial crazy, is real, 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 to get him off the bottom. Once he's up off the bottom, his bladder will start to fill with air, which means he can't go back down as easily as he could before. Then he'll turn around and just put the slow cranks, the muscle to him. It's Lisa's an Almaco. Healthy... It's a... an Almaco. Holy this cow. This one's coming off. Remember when I said we catch giant Almacos here? That is giant. How about a 25 pounder? Whoa. Look at that thing. Big Almaco. He's skinny. He's long and skinny. He almost looks like an amberjack, but he's not. It's the biggest one I've ever seen. I'm it's a Almaco. it's a big one. 20 25 pounder. Oh, I'm glad he's an Almaco. <laughs> that makes it a little more worth it. I'm still... Don't drop him yet. Let Kelly take yeah. a picture for fish rules out. All right, you guys. As you can see, it's the next day. Look at this gargantuan amberjack. Oh my goodness. You can see, I don't know if the light will show you why they're an amberjack, that beautiful amber color. But why we harvested them is because they're really good for smoked fish. And the plot just twisted greatly, you guys. Right over our shoulder over there is some Chinese people catching jellyfish. And they just give us some intel on what they're doing. So we told them we'd give them some fish. And they are super excited. Now, these big amberjacks like this at home are typically full of worms. So I'm interested to see if this one's gonna be. It's pretty hit or miss here. We have a lot of really clean ones. I've cleaned a lot of amberjacks. I have zero worms though, surprisingly. We'll see. This one's so big, you gotta clean like a tuna. Always have a good knife. This is my nine inch Danko. I know I called it a 10 inch in one of my videos, but it's a 9 inch. They've got massive backbones. It's just a massive fish, Kate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I was really disappointed when mine came off. Were you really? But in all reality, gosh, their pin bones are giant, but in all reality, we didn't need more than just this, just this one. See, look at almost, that loin. Look at that. Like I said, that's that's almost perfect. That's about as good. That's as about the only get. place they get them is right in the tail section, and there's just a couple from here back. That's a pretty beautiful amberjack, all things considered. Yeah. They don't get too much better than that. So for those Chinese people showing us how to cook these jellies and explaining to us what they're doing, we're going to give them. Some of this amazing fish. Look at that. That's a That's eight nice. pound chunk of meat, 10 pound chunk of meat. <laughs> right over our shoulder. This Mayport Inlet is such an amazing fishery, such an amazing place. We got a naval ship right here. You got um, a ferry service right there for cars. Oh. Joey's been telling me to come that this fishery is insane. I've only been here and fished offshore once and that was for Wahoo. And we did catch a big mutton that day too. Who caught that mutton? I forgot. Joey did. <laughs> Joey did. I mean, this amberjack, you could grill it. Oh, goodness. Them seagulls. My mom will tell you, anytime I hear them, I always think back of the keys. 
Growing up as a little boy, you would hear that sound and you'd know you're in the Keys. Look at those dummies fighting over the skin. <laughs> tug of war. Pelican tug of war. Place your bats. Who's going to win? All right, so we came to a conclusion. We caught this big, beautiful rainbow runner. This massive Amoco Jack. So we're going to do a comparison between the giant amber jack, the Almaco jack, and the rainbow runner. I don't need to clean this for y'all though because it looks exactly like the amber jack. And that's a beeliner. You heard me talk about Kelly doing a beeliner show. She's actually going to cook one of these whole and she caught a whole bunch of them in her video. That's one of the best eating fish that swim. Look at this rainbow runner though. He looks a lot like the yellowtail that we caught in Mexico and that they have in California. It's a scaly fish. Meat looks pretty good. So we're gonna take this that Almaco and that Amberjack can have a smoke off and take all that fish to Alabama and it's gonna be so good. All right, you guys, I decided I'm not gonna keep these throats or the backbone or the bottom loin because these people were so nice and I know they were drooling when they saw this. Let's go give it to them. He just saw me walk over and he's like, oh yeah. You like, you like this fish? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like this part? Very good, yeah. Very good. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, boss. Hey, we'll thank see y'all back at my house in Stewart, Florida, where we're gonna smoke up some of this amazing fish to take to Alabama. All right, y'all, we're back at the house. Look at this cooler of fish. I'm about to show you guys how we break down what we do. We don't waste anything. We kept the grouper collars. We've got a whole trigger fish for Kelly's channel. We got the filet of rainbow, muttons. I mean, the barracuda that we free gaffed. Kelly's got it for her dogs. Now we, this is how we put it when we were done cleaning it in Ziplocs. That's not how we roll. We do that till we get back to the house. You see how that's vacuum sealed with the date and what it is? That's how you properly take care of it. This vacuum sealer right here, Outrigger Outdoors, the same person who makes the lights on the boat behind y'all, just came out with this awesome vacuum sealer and it's got a scale on it. Some of y'all have already seen it that watch my channel. Those of y'all that are new to the channel, that vacuum sealer is a game changer for us. It will save your fish months. Like you put it in a Ziploc, it's gonna be freezer burned soon. You vacuum seal it, it'll be good for a long time. So if you want that exact vacuum sealer, go below this video in the description and go to Outriggers, click on the link and use promo code BlueGabe, you'll save 10%. Now, we'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, you guys, we're back from Jacksonville. Look who I got. Jakey and Lukey. <laughs> Anyhow, Kelly and I have been gone for three days. We got them back. They've been playing in the yard, but Rico is behind the camera, and he came up with an awesome idea. So with all my companies, Frog Tog, Favorite, Outrigger Outdoors, I have promo codes. And if you use those promo codes when you order these products, you save money. And you also help out the cause. So for doing so, we came up with a great idea. This is Jason Billings. He used my promo code four times last month. And for doing so, Rico showed up with a brand new Danko knife kit. Kelly's got a deck of playing cards, which is a limited time <laughs> offer. What? One of her stickers. And I'm gonna send him these knives, personally signed by Kelly and I, a deck of cards, a sticker, and a favorite reel just to say thank you just to support everybody that supports us to making our life possible look at you looking all beautiful what's the occasion this is the occasion i'm editing <laughs> so we just got home we're both editing but come on this is what we're all here for folks come on so i wanted to do something a little bit different when it came to this cooking video because by now you've seen the jellyfish video hopefully and that was awesome but this is a little bit different so we caught all those massive fish. We know Amberjack is amazing. We know Almaco Jack is amazing. And we know Rainbow Runner is amazing. But we're gonna do a taste test between the three because I got some amazing friends coming over for dinner tonight. And when this is done cooking, I'm gonna set it out in front of all of them 
and they're gonna be the judge on what's the best. And y'all are following along with us. Thanks. All right, you guys, we're here. I didn't show you taking it off the grill because you've seen fish come off the grill before. I got Mr. Timmy, Mr. Richard, and my oldest son, Jake, and we're gonna try it. So this is the Rainbow Runner, this is the Almaco Jack, and that's the Amber Jack. All I did was cut the Amber Jack open to make sure it was Amber Jack. We're doing the taste test, taste tester. It's great. We're going all the way through, right? Yeah, all the way through. All right, am I doing all three? Yeah. That one's good too. That one tastes like it got more smoke. It's really good. All right, Rainbow Runner. This is what I'm most Rainbow curious Runner. about because those two are pretty much the same fish. All right, now you start. All right. Y'all can pick oh, it wow. up with your hands too. Right. Wow. That, that one? No, I mean, that one's a totally different fish. It's really good. And it is a totally different. So you guys, the Almaco Jack, you'll see in Kelly's video, she catches one. So if you go to fishrollsapp.com and go to Amberjack and Almaco Jack and swipe, you'll see that there's not much difference, but there is a difference. Jake, dig in. Jake, try that one. Luke, you coming up in here? Yeah. Come here, you can get in my lap. Come on, brother Luke. Brother Luke. You guys, and definitely make sure you check out Joey VT. His whole fishing deal YouTube, he's a commercial mm -hmm. style fisherman. Dude, they rip some lips all over the country. Let Luke have a little taste. Why do you got Here. fish skin? Luke, tell your fans watching that you ate iguana tail. Like it was beef jerky, <laughs> you didn't even care. Was it good? It tastes like chicken. Redneck's like, yo, throw me a leg. Good stuff, in it? Was it good? Yeah. All right, so we've came to a conclusion. What is it? What do you think? <clears throat> I think that one is my favorite. This is the Rainbow Runner. I, have to I agree. think I'm going to the Rainbow Runner yeah. also. Y'all, three's the charm. So this is all I did. Ken Cooker Original Creole, Lowry's. That's it. Olive oil, I put them on the grill for like five hours at 220 degrees. All three of them cooked side by side, the same time, the same everything. I would have definitely suspected Amberjack to be the best because I cleaned them and that meat looked a lot prettier. But you can't judge a book by its cover. But anyhow, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We got awesome videos coming. You see that jellyfish? If you haven't seen my jellyfish video yet, you might want to check that out. You might learn something about a jellyfish and that they are good too. Hey, we'll save it. Luke's over there playing Jenga. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for everything y'all do for us. But like Jake always says, it's time to what? We're getting the heck out of shape.